Asus brought more fun to their content creators OLED laptops through their new VivoBook Pro series. VivoBooks is marketed as a more budget constrained laptop while offering a lot more perks. On my table here is the Asus VivoBook Pro 16X OLED with 16 inch 16x10 4K display. As the name suggested, it uses an OLED panel that delivers vibrance and superb color accuracy. Hi, my name is Joshua Wong. Welcome to Fast Week Episode 40. I do short and fast tech reviews on this channel. That's how the name came about. Today, we'll be checking out the new ASUS VivoBook Pro 16X OLED. It offers on either Intel or AMD processor and both paired with a dedicated NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 or 3050 Ti. This laptop is intended for content creators and I see some shadows of the ProArt Studiobook 16 OLED which I recently reviewed. Let's begin with its design. It has a grey matte slate, back cover and its fingerprints magnets. There are two small metals on the right side with angle stripes and engraved ASUS VivoBook brandings with two hashtags Be Explorers and Ready Set Go. When lift open, you will notice a few more distinctive design elements on the back lead keyboard. Like a bright orange escape key, the same angle stripes on the enter key, and two-tone black and grey keyboard. It also has a numeric keypad since it's a 16-inch laptop. The color combos reminds me of my favorite mechanical keyboards from Keychron. The fingerprint scanner is baked into the power button. It's accurate and fast, similar to other Asus viewable keyboards is responsive and tactile. The touchpad is huge and incorporates with ASUS Dowpad that works exactly the same as the ProArt Studiobook 16 OLED. Instead of a physical knob, it's a touchpad where it gets activated by swiping diagonally from the upper corners of the touchpad that has a small circle logo. By default, the Dowpad controls the display brightness and the system volume by swiping around it. You'll get the most out of the ASUS Dowpad by using the supported Adobe Creative Cloud programs like Adobe Photoshop, Lightroom Classics, Premiere Pro, and After Effects. It doesn't feel as intuitive as the ProArt Studiobook 16 OLEDs without the dialer edge textures. Still, it gets the work done and I would say it's pretty precise. The ASUS Dowpad is fully customizable through the ProArt Creator Hubs to meet your workflow need. To be honest, it's a love and hate design as it's very subjective. Some may like it, some may not. Personally, I'm into these designs and I do appreciate differences in looks compared to other laptops out there. Asus uses aluminum chassis on this laptop, which is lightweight and sturdy at only 1.95 kg. The 16-inch 4K OLED display has a narrow bezel and a webcam houses on the top with a physical shutter cover. Coming to ports and connectivity, there are two USB-A 2.0s on the left. While on the right side, there's a barrel charger, a USB-A 3.2 Gen 1, full-size HDMI 1.4, USB-C 3.2 Gen 1, a micro SD card reader, and a 3.5mm audio combo port. To take note, the USB-C doesn't support power delivery nor display output, which is a bummer. It also equipped with the latest Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.0. Since ASUS market the VivoBook Pro 16X OLEDs as a content creator laptop, they include their most premium display, a 3840x2400 4K OLED display that is said to be 100% DCI-P3, 133% sRGB color gamuts, and its Pantone's and Vesa display HDR500 to black certified. From my naked eyes, the inky older blacks are excellent for content creations as well as consumptions. As you can expect from ASUS OLEDs, it's sharp, vibrant, and beautiful. The beautiful display is also paired with world-renowned sounds, Harmon Cardon, which delivers strong and punchy sounds even at top volume. If you are here for the performance, you won't be disappointed. It earns its pro title with powerful hardware including AMD Ryzen 9 5900 hx and octa-core processor with tons of power, especially in multi-threaded demand needs. It also paired with NVIDIA Studio Batch, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 Ti or 3050. The rest are sold at 16GB of DDR4 and a 512GB NVMe Gen 3. This makes the VivoBook Pro 16X OLED a decent gaming laptop with DLSS support. Here are some benchmark test results of the ASUS VivoBook Pro 16X with 3050 Ti. Personally, the heaviest programs that I use as a content creator are Adobe Premiere Pros and Photoshop. 
with NVIDIA Studio drivers built specifically for creators, Adobe applications are well optimized with optimal levels of performance and reliability. Video scrubbing, renders, and exporting are effortless. The fan is speed up with noticeable sounds when it comes to processor demanding tasks. Other than that, editing videos on the VivoBook Pro 16X OLED is pretty enjoyable. The laptop is packed with a behemoth 96 working hours battery and offers stunning battery life. I used it for 3 hours of intensive workloads and I'm still left with a 30% battery. Casual use of this laptop can easily last me full days with at least 12 to 13 hours. Thinking more about it, the ASUS VivoBook X16 OLED can be more than just a content creator laptop. It's an all-rounder laptop for creators, gamers, and even for work as it offers a longevity battery life. Still, it's not perfect as the VivoBook Pro X16 OLED still lacks of modern ports such as Thunderbolt Lite USB-C that support power delivery and display out. On top of that, it also has another issue where it crams all the high-speed USB on the right side. If let's say I need to connect to a high-speed USB-C for editing while using the mouse on the cram tables, it's gonna be very messy. Other than that, the ASUS VivoBook Pro 16X OLED is an amazing 16-inch 4K OLED content creator laptop. It priced from RM4799 to the top of the line RM6499. That's all from me on the ASUS VivoBook Pro 16X OLED. If you have any questions, do leave them in the comment box below. I'll be sure to answer them. If you enjoy short text review like this, consider subscribing. Take care and I'll see you at the next one.